Good morning, everybody. So, my name is Michelle, and today I want to tell you all um, a secret. I want to tell you all about a secret place that I love to go to and have been going to since I was a little tiny baby. Um, this place is very dear to me. It's a place that I go to feel closer to God, to think, to clear my mind, to exert my energy, and to just have fun. So, do you guys want to know what my secret place is? Yes. Okay. It's Hilda Crooks Park. It's in the city of Loma Linda. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly where it's at yet, okay? You guys are going to have to wait. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history. I'm going to tell you what is there that's going to intrigue you all. And I'm going to tell you where it's at last. So, a little bit about its history is it was founded in 1970. And in 1970, it was not called Hilda Crooks Park. It's just a... Um, a preservation for wildlife. It was dedicated to Hilda Crooks in her honor in 1991. Hilda Crooks was a woman who lived in Loma Linda and she um, she's known for being a mountaineer. She would go mountain climbing, she loved being in this area specifically because she would go and talk to the kids about um, nature and how to preserve it and how to respect it, you know. Um, She's really known all over the world, worldwide. In um, 1987, at the age of 91, she became the oldest woman to climb Mount Fuji in Japan. At 91 years old. That's amazing. And between the ages of um, 65 and 91, she climbed Mount Whitney 23 times. And also during that time, she climbed 97 other mountains. So she's very, very active. And she was always out there telling people how to live a healthy lifestyle. So this is why she, they dedicated this park to her, because she loved this area especially. And um, like I said, she's known worldwide, so they actually named other mountains. In um, the Whitney area, they named a mountaintop after her called Crooks Peak. So that's a little bit about the background. Now I'm going to tell you the really fun stuff that's there. So this is a, this is a, a replica of her. It's actually um, a statue made. Her size, she's a really short woman, so if you go there, you'll see she was really short. This is exactly how tall she was, and she always wore a hat like that as well. So if you look her up, you'll see this is, this is her. <laughs> okay, so the place here is very, very big, 2,000 acres, over 2,000 acres of wildlife. Okay, and what's really cool is you can literally walk from Hilda Crooks Park all the way to Riverside. I don't recommend that you do it, because there's a lot of wildlife in there. It'll take a really, really, really long time, but you could do it. You could walk from here all the way to Box Springs Mountain Reserve in Riverside. There's a lot of wildlife, like I said, which is why I don't recommend you do something like that. Um, in uh, Box Springs Mountain Reserve, they actually have mountain lions over there, okay? So I go hiking up here all the time, and I've been um, privileged to see the rattlesnakes and the coyotes, bobcat, deer. They even have wild donkeys up here and wild boar. And I know I've seen a mountain lion up here. I saw it. And I, people still tell me it wasn't a mountain lion, but I know it was. So if you go out there and you go hiking, just be aware you are in the <coughs> wild out there. This is one of their views. Beautiful, gorgeous views all around, all around. And in this picture, you can see that there's a, the basketball court that they have. They also have two tennis courts here. They also have um, a volleyball court, um, many, many other things, <clears throat> and many open spaces. This is not their highest peak either. They have much higher peaks. This is one of their um, playgrounds that they have. They have three playgrounds here in this area. This is another one of their playgrounds. They have restrooms, tons of tables. I like the fact that they have trash cans everywhere. Try and um, encourage people not to litter. Um, I love these spinny things. They actually don't have a lot of these in the area, so I love this park because they have that. <laughs> Swings. Another playground area. Um, I love this big hill. There's a story behind that I'll get to. If you see this area over here, this is where they put the volleyball net. Now you have to go down to the city and tell the city to put it up. And you'll do that if you're going to have a party. And if you're going to have a party and you want to use like a jumper house or something, you also need to go down to City Hall and get a permit to do that. It doesn't cost very much, very easy to get, and um, they'll put the volleyball net up for you. They take it down because it's been vandalized before, so they don't want to have it up. Now the park here is very big in this area, and the hill, there's a story I want to tell you, very, very fun thing to do. If you have kids, if you don't have kids, I've done it to this day, I still do it. <laughs> you can go to a local store 
any store that sells ice water, um, I believe Stata Brothers still sells them, big blocks of ice. Get a big giant block of ice, take a towel with you, put, put the blanket on top of the ice, and slide down the hill as fast as you can. So much fun. If you can't get to the mountains to see the snow, come here and do this. It's so much fun. So there's tons of shade, tons of benches, a lot of parties go on here, a lot of barbecues. It's a lot of fun, especially in the summertime when it's hot. They have two dog parks in this area. This is one of them. Now what I love about the dog parks is they have these in the middle of them. So you can actually close this gate off. I've taken my dog here quite a few times and sometimes, you know, dogs are dogs. They don't like the other dog. You can close the gate off and keep your dog on one side. Very big area. This is just um, the other side of the dog park. Now this is the bigger dog park. Just a very short hike away, you have the bigger dog park. What I like also about the dog parks is that you don't need to take bowls of water with you. You know, when you go for a walk with your dog just around the neighborhood sometimes, you take a little bowl because they get thirsty. You don't need to do that here. They have all this stuff on site, hoses. They even have little pools that you can have your dog jump around in, which is great for the summertime. Tons of shaded areas. They have the ironic fire hydrant so your dog can go <laughs> and do his business. They have tons of activities for your dog to run around and play on. This is one of their trails. They have many, 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 many trails, but this is the most famous one. Everybody goes down this trail. A lot of mountain bikers especially. This is another one of their views. Um, at nighttime, just imagine this is really beautiful. It's very, very beautiful, especially after it rains. It's gorgeous. This is actually a picture that I took um, in the springtime. So all the previous pictures have been taken just a couple days ago, so you can see how dry it is compared to this picture. And in the springtime, everything, all of the hills are just rolling green. It's gorgeous. And this is one of their sunset pictures. Now, I did not add a picture of their nighttime because I want to encourage you all to go and check it out for yourself. <laughs> the nighttime view is amazing. I, can't, I can only just tell you it's gorgeous. It's amazing. The lights are, are beautiful. And last but not least, I will tell you where to find this special secret place. <laughs> okay, so we all travel here to California Preparatory, right? No matter where you live, you all travel here. Now, as you can see, it's only 10 to 12 minutes away from here. So if you can travel here, you can travel there, okay? I encourage you to do so. Everybody will love it. You cannot say that there's something there that you won't like, whether you, your kid, your animals, it's a great place to go check out. Vacation's coming up. During your vacation, you're not going to be commuting here.